Well, I am going to be checking out Fallout 76 for the very first time, and I'm already in the game. The great, fantastic Fallout music is already playing. If you're watching this as a past broadcast, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell button, because I'll also be doing a talk show with my friend, 30 and Still Gaming. I'll be saying, hey, Fallout's having a moment. What's going on with Fallout? I'm enjoying the TV show, and uh, my wife and I are about halfway through the series, and I loved Fallout 4 when I played it at the time. I thought it was great. I thought people really overstated the problems. Maybe I just wasn't in tune to the problems, but I never tried out Fallout 76. So we're going to see, is it worth playing, right? Is it worth checking out? I asked on Twitter, and people were like, yes, no, yes, no. It was very split. So I'm pushing play. We're diving in for the very first time. So thank you for being here. If you guys are in the live audience... Take a second, hit the like button, and uh, hit subscribe as well. Make sure you're here later for the show. And Stonespire starting us off right with a gifted member. The goal of the week is like 43 members away, now 42 thanks to that. Han shot first and so... In the pursuit of happiness. Uh Uh-huh. If our founding fathers could only see us now. From Antietam to Amiens, Okinawa to Anchorage, we have fought. And now, the Red Menace is at our doorstep. Democracy itself is under threat of annihilation. That is why today, July 4th, 2076, 300 years after our great nation began, we gather together to honor the completion of Vault 76. This sprawling underground shelter may have been engineered by Vault Tech, but it was built by you, the good people of America, so that if the bombs do come, if the end does come, our way of life will endure. But not everyone will be saved. Those chosen to enter this vault must be our best and our brightest. For when the fighting has stopped and the fallout has settled, you must rebuild. Not just walls, not just buildings, but hearts and minds, and ultimately, America itself. So as we stand here today, we pray that the world will know peace. But if that is not our destiny, if war must come, we stand together knowing that here in Vault 76, our future begins. Thank you guys for all those gifted members. Zubair, Jordan, and Detonator taking us all the way to eight already. You guys are amazing. That was a pretty good start. Yeah, I like Ron Perlman being included. Good morning, Vault 76. Gosh, it's really blurry. Are they going to fix it? I'm just kidding. Uh huh. Even those who may have overindulged and overslept. Okay. Time to get up and get out there. Can I? We've been locked away long enough. I'm just gonna randomize. Should I just randomize? Today that's okay. That's pretty close. It's reclamation day. It's reclamation day. It may be time to leave, but I'll never forget the day you all entered Vault 76. Uh huh. You come from every walk of life, every race, color, and creed. But you all share one very important trait. You are this country's best and brightest. Wait, so can I not change any of my stuff? I can just cycle through faces? Close? Can you not tell white people apart? I can't. I can't. We all look the same to me. Um, thank you for another gifted member. Kicking it with Timmy B. So, I don't. I, it, is it true you can't edit anything? I mean, I can edit the face, but I, it doesn't look like I can edit the hair or anything. Oh, press done and hover over specific body parts. Okay, hang on. Let's get a good starting face then. Yeah, like that. See, that works. That'll work. Name your character. Okay. 
Okay. What? What? What happened to me? Oh. Okay. I mean, I, I wanted to zoom in on my face a little bit more. I guess, I guess, I guess you can't really do that. Okay. We'll just take snapshot. Go back. It's too late. It's too late. Listen, let's just play the game. I don't really care what I look like, to be quite honest. I'll end up wearing a helmet anyway, right? All right. Um. So classic Fallout feel. There's stuff everywhere. I can grab stuff. My bad. Yeah, you said click options, so I I clicked options, and it just it said uh, when done. Got my pit boy here. We're ready to rock and roll. All right. Thanks for the 100 likes, guys. Y'all are the best. Reclamation day. Oh, my microphone is on. Let's put a stop to that. You have been tasked with nothing less than the rebuilding of America. Such a huge responsibility. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's just so huge. No one's here. That's China. Twenty bomb from Quintar. Unbelievable. This Quintar says that goal is as good as done. If I'm here, I owe you guys five. I'll do five more members as soon as that's done. Twenty-four hours. System And a single from Stone Spire. I see what you're doing, Stone Spire. Thirty out of fifty members tempting another twenty bomb. We'll see if anybody wants to have a competition with Quintar. Yeah, for sure, dude. For sure. I'll take care of it. Okay, so they're teaching you stim packs heal over time. Press right on the D-pad for quick use. Okay. I've not... Building supplies for... Okay. I've not played Fallout 4 since I my first year of streaming, I think. was No, my second year of streaming, I played the Far Harbor. I'm sure you've been lonely, but there's a whole vault's worth of companions outside. Assuming they haven't been eaten yet. Yeah, I've got my birthday hat on. Now we're ready to go. What the frick is that? Is that an overhead projector? No, it's camp. Camping make easy. Got it. Open your pit boy once you're in the wilderness to build or relocate your camp. Okay. Discover the overseer's mission. Never stop learning. Be the best that you can be. Got my pen and my glasses. Wait, did I miss something? Oh. Am I supposed to be going this way? How do I... Oh, this is like if I'm leaving. Hang on. Let's go back. Yeah, it wants me to go all the way back. Ah, one of Vault 76's Gee, many Christmas. remaining residents finally uh -huh. awakens again. All right, here we go. Because whoever is listening to this had the moxie to try to find out where I've gone. 
but I'm glad you did. Okay. I need your help. Okay. I've been given a task and I've decided to break protocol and tell you what it is. Do it. If there's one thing I've learned in these past few years, it's that we need to rely on each other. There were three active nuclear silos in Appalachia before the bombs fell. Okay. They blew up the world before. We can't let it happen again. So we've got to locate and secure all of the silos. Or die trying. Hopefully the former. But it's been 25 years. Get to the I point! I don't know what we're going to find out there. Or where to start. My directive was to go to the nearest population center and assess the situation. I'll set up a camp on the way once I get my bearings. Find me there. I couldn't tell she was done talking. Because she kept having these super long pauses in her sentences. He was like, I don't know what we're going to do. Anyways, as I was saying, it's like she's a freaking robot. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> I look so dumb. Are there any weapons? You know? Oh, I'm about to go out into a wasteland of death and terribleness, and I've got a birthday hat! I, it's really loud! I can't hear you! It's super loud, dude. They grow up so fast. Battle Ready Dweller. Battle Ready Dwellers leave the vault at level 20 with a special loadout of their choice. They are prepared to jump into more difficult content. You get weapon, armor, and perk. A level 2 is a fresh dweller. They leave the vault at level 2 with a perk of their choice. They require time training before taking on more difficult challenges. It says that this is the best choice. Somebody was asking what we were going to play tonight. If you guys hit the goal of 43 members, that'll be 300 members for the entire week. Madam and I will play Ghost of Tsushima with two controllers, but Creature thought it would be fun for us to show you guys us playing Gunfire Reborn because I keep telling you about how much fun we're having with it. So we might do that as well. Maybe we'll just do the Ghost of Tsushima thing like just for a little bit. Battle ready for noobs like Lono. I mean, it's saying this is the best choice, so I'm going to say that this is the best choice. I mean, the game is telling me, so I obviously it knows better than me, you know? Wish this was an option at launch. Let's do it. All right. Oh, see, this is what I always love about Fallout. I love this from Fallout 4, the art style. So, uh, Commando, automatic rifles, uses automatic weapons to engage enemies at a distance. I guarantee you that's what I'm going to end up picking, but let's look at all of them. Slugger, two-handed melee weapons. I don't ever play these games. Melee. Pistola. Fights with slow-firing weapons that pack a mean punch. Shotguns. Deals large bursts of damage from close range. Specialist. Targets enemies' limbs with the luck-based VATS system. We're going commando. <laughs> pew, 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 pew. That's what my son says now for video games. He's like, can we go downstairs? Let's go downstairs and go pew, pew, pew. I'm like, dude, no. Not video game day, bro. No pew, pews today. <laughs> Yo, a gifted member from Rich Rod. Thank you so much. Richity Roddy. Dude, I'm getting so many achievements. I'm getting so many trophies. I'm a real gamer today. I'm just standing here getting trophies. I'll have this game platinumed in about five minutes at this rate. You know, I, the, they do a good job with certain elements. Like the shine on his clothing is quite good. You know, the deep... I think the I think this engine always does a good job with clothing and outfits and, like, the leather and armor and stuff. 
Bennington! Oh, sir. Yes. Those young ladies down there. <laughs> Good day. They seem exceedingly alive. Oh. They haven't yet made any untoward advances, but perhaps you could speak to them? Verify their intentions are civil? Sure. What's been going on here? You sound like you're up to something. Any idea what these two are doing here? I... Oh, do be careful out there, sir. Yep, gotcha. Okay, I'm going to take this advice. Some quick adjustments to the controls. Um... Change player icon? No. Um... Menu... Uh... Settings? Controls. Okay, so you're saying... Uh, for far more like an average game. So crouch, sneak, you're saying make that circle. I actually agree with you on that one. Um... Okay, crowd circle. Uh, and now my pit boy is that, okay. Uh, jump should be X. Yep, that's a good call. Interact, triangle. Pit boy, right stick down, sprint, left stick. Where is sprint? Yep, okay. Good advice. Excellent advice overall, dude. Got to be a way in there. Maybe a vault dweller? Hey there. Wait, I don't understand. Oh, you select it with trigger? How do I select it? It says R to select. What is... What's R? I don't understand. Oh, okay. Now I got it. Now the gun's out. He, like, wasn't pulling the gun out. Whoa. Whoa. Just a friend here. Not a threat. Just had some questions for you. Yeah, I've got some questions for vault, you. Right? I thought it was empty. Wait, is the door still open? Listen, as the owner of a large forehead, I'm happy to meet somebody else with an unusually large forehead. The door's sealed. No one's getting in. God damn it. Yep. <sighs> we got a tip from the wayward. Heard of the place? A new bar down the road. So this guy told us that after you gave him the last of our caps he said that inside that vault is the you know that's where the big one is our last chance to turn our lousy luck around that's my nickname the big one he was talking about me the big one's in there all right we managed to trap it but i merely out a lot of the tell me about the bar you know the thing that brought everyone back the treasure oh well, yeah, there was this big broadcast, but shouldn't you know it was in there? I told you, Lacey. The guy was scamming us. But those were the last of our caps. No, someone has to know something. Uh huh. We're just gonna stick it out until we find them. Wonderful. Thanks for answering some questions for us. Yeah. I suppose. This has been invigorating. It's only fair I return the favor. Yeah. Anything we can answer for you? Yeah, I was going to say, like, is it, are you the game players and I'm the NPC? Like, I feel like I just helped them. What can you tell me about this treasure? What can you tell me about the area? What's the world like out here? I'll be honest. I don't need to know any of that. I've got, I've got the gist of it. Watch yourself out there. I'm going to be honest. I'm just going to be honest. I really want to kill both of them and just see what happens. You know? Can you... Can you scum save in this? Oh, forget it. 
<clears throat> so my gun misfired and I'll see y'all later if I want to play it third person or first I really like the look of the gun I feel like the FOV is a little shallow I'd say the I'd say the controls feel pretty good um not a huge fan of the audio. The gun doesn't sound that great. I'd say use of color, uh, you know, foliage density, performance. Performance seems fine. We're getting a nice clean capture, nice 60 FPS. Oh, there! Is that how the audio is supposed to sound? The sound is bad, like really bad. Yeah, the sound is like, it just doesn't sound good. What? What are you doing? What do you see? Oh! Oh, the chicken? What are you... You're not the end of me. You'll, you'll be okay. You got it. I believe in you, dude. I just want your loot, to be honest. I think you have a nice gun, so I'm just kind of like letting this happen. That's just... That's just the way it is out here in the wasteland. You know, you really got to watch yourself. You know, you really got to take care and uh, we're going to go ahead and take that pipe pistol, you know, seems like you didn't know how to use it. So better off in my hands anyway, bud. Yo, a single gifted from Stone Spire takes us to 32 members on the day. You the best. Oh, I've not done the five that I owe yet. Have I? I need to do the five members that I owe. Yeah, it sounds horrible. Yeah, it's uh it's it's pretty booty cheeks. It sounds like friggin' outriders. Ta -da -ta -da -ta -da -ta -ta -ta. What let's try another gun. Maybe it's the gun. I'm, I got, I'm gonna be real. It's like it's going through some kind of an audio filtering process or something. It, it's it doesn't sound right. What the frick's going on, man? I I don't know. You crashed three times yesterday and you were like, why? We have to visit the wayward. Well, where in the world is that? Right there. Okay. I like the map. I think the map's cool. Love a good map. Soot flower. And a rhododendron. Derek, didn't mom have rhododendrons growing up and we would hit the heads of them off with baseball bats and she'd get really mad? <laughs> they, were off the, they were off the side of the garage. And they were just, unfortunately, they were at like the perfect t-ball height. Just wham! Just knocked that sucker right off. New events! Book of Eli is inviting all players. Bonus XP for completed players. What the frick was that graphical thing that just happened? Did y'all see that?
Yeah, guys, let's get the 200 likes as well. 150 likes already. This is I've never played Fallout 76 before. Now, I have played Fallout 4, and I liked it quite a bit. I remember I even came back for the Far Harbor DLC, and I like that. A two-spot from Andy Ackerman. Hope you're good, brother. Yo, thank you, sir. Thank you for the $2. You the best. Music is good. I do I do think the music is good. Big leathery leaves. Those plants. Trees are the enemy must eliminate. Trees. Oh. Trees are the enemy, he said. Man. Like that's that's being real anti woke, you know? He's like F nature. <laughs> What's going on here? Wait, these are paramedics. Yeah, the world is quite a bit more settled than I thought. How are you holding up? Are you talking to me? Oh, golly. I'm not a tree, bro. I'm not the enemy. Oh, we're not there yet. Yeah, I don't know if when Fallout 4 gets its little next-gen update. I tell you what Fallout 4 needs. Aren't there, like, really, really good mods for it? You know? Get that good mod support. What the heck is that? Yo, Silent Spartan gifts a member. Thank you so much. Takes us to 33 members on the day we are now officially 10 away from the weekly goal of 300 members we need 43 today I was wanting to try out my different weapon um see I don't know about you but I even feel like that's maybe not new miscellaneous quest available track the quest from your pit boy Okay. Listen to the Overseer's broadcast on the radio. I'm telling you, Fallout can be one of the best. It can the Fallout 5 could be one of the best RPGs ever. Like I love the I love the UI. I do. Okay, so with this new quest, investigate. There are people in my thing. A five bomb coming in from Lone Wolf, and a ten bomb from Quintar takes us to forty-eight. You guys did it. And another five comes in from Spartan. That takes us well past 50. You guys are the best. I now owe you five more members. Thank you so much. Killer week, man. We're really turning things around. You guys are awesome. No, it's this way. Oh, there it is. The cabin. Like, is this how I listen to the radio broadcast up here? Okay, left on the D-pad. Yo, Remorse A, brand new member. Didn't want to wait around for a gifted. You add to the total as well. That's 54 members today. Hello. What do we got going on here? Ooh, Ruben safe key. I'll take that. And then... I will... Take that. Bobby pin. Another one comes in from Stone Spire, takes us to 55. I know what you're doing, Stone Spire. You're tempting that 20 bomb, 55 to 75. I'm going to do the five that I owe you guys right now. 
So here's what I don't understand. It says new miscellaneous quest available. Track the quest in your pit boy. Okay. So I pull this up. Listen to the Brotherhood message. Is that what it's talking about? Or is it talking about this one? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Main side. Find out what the key unlocks. Okay, that's what it was talking about. What do you mean find out what the key unlocks? I Is it talking about what I just did? Joker Quinn gifts one. I am playing on my PS5. Oh, I can speak to Lane there. Event. Event. Okay, so there's events on the map. You can also go to the quest and hit show on map. Okay, hang on, hang on. Show on map. Oh. <gasps> You're, yeah, all the way up there. We should do that first. How do I make, can I make a marker up there? All right, let's do it. Let's go all the way up there. Yo, is B Nipple here? I see somebody mentioning B Nipple. Good to see you, B Nipple. I haven't seen you in a minute. Yo, thank you for 11 months. Ready? Firm handshakes, chat. Firm handshakes all around. All right, which gun do we have out? Okay. There's definitely some survival elements over there. You know, my food and my water. Thankfully, none of that has gone down yet. Immediately start side questing. You can do that for nearly every quest. Okay. Didn't somebody tell me to check the chest anyway? Like, right outside the vault when I came out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to run right back into the vault. Let's do that. Somebody told me to do that and I forgot. I just want to say, God bless the games that give you unlimited stamina when you're not in combat. I love that feature. By the way, this game, um, Eugene, you know, you were talking about how it doesn't look good, doesn't sound good. I am playing the PS4 version. Uh, there is no PS5 version. Just so we're clear on that. That's probably why we're not going to get a whole lot of like... They did update this to 60 FPS. That is correct. But no like texture, resolution, sound. None of that's been updated. The hat's great. Yeah, it was my present when I left. Okay, what do we got here? Baseball grenade. Thanks for the donations, boys. How's the game so far? Well, I could certainly see people getting into the content loop of it's big open world. There's loot to get. There's stuff to find. There's quests to complete. Um, you know, I'm going to do a little side quest right away. And, uh, I think our main critique right now is the sound design is not the hottest. Graphics, you know, are, they're not terrible for what amounts to basically a PlayStation 4 game. And it told me to 
find out what this key will open it told me to come all this way we're gonna see what's going on down here okay so it seems like the settlers don't really mess with you Check your sound device settings. Make sure to set the DVD quality. Where the f where the heck do I do that? Do I do that in this game? Still have something to complain about? Well, I mean, I suppose I could sit here and grin like an idiot and tell you that everything's perfect. Would that be better? Would that be more useful to you to just not be honest? I, you know. People are taking an interest in Fallout. I was like, let me see what Fallout 76 feels like. They've made a lot of updates and changes. It's in device settings. Like device settings on the PlayStation? That's why I didn't keep going with this title. Like, I understand the fun I had to offer, but I couldn't get past a lot of the quality issues. It doesn't even meet the previous standards. We're almost there, chat. Oh, wow. It's a lot farther than I thought. <laughs> I... I thought we were going to go for like a leisurely stroll. Like the map in Rise of the Ronin always looks like you're going to have to go like a really far distance and then like you totally don't. It's like pretty fast. I do find it interesting that we've gone all this way and we haven't run into a single person or enemy. Like I, I mean, we saw those settlers, but wh what I meant to say is no enemies. Oh, speak of the devil. And he appears. Ow! Loser! Your buddy wasn't too smart either. Okay. Beginning zone. Yeah, but I would expect even like basic enemies. Yeah, now that we've gone a few di some distance. Yeah, now we've got some people or some enemies. The enemies die pretty fast. I can't quite figure out why the sound sounds like that. It honestly sounds like it's going through a filter. Where are all the guys I killed? I want all the loot. Oh, they kind of glow. That's helpful. 
Or maybe not. Gonna get overburdened really quickly. Ooh, a laser rifle. All right. Okay, so we need to make some favorites. I remember this. Okay. Uh. Okay, yeah, just weapons. So. Yeah, the one we have favorited is really good at a 55. Oh. Um. Yeah, favorite that one. That's pretty good damage. Oh, there we go. Let's try this on for size. Disregard my comments. I thought you were on PC. Yeah, I was like, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Hang on one second. Yeah, it's no different. Like, I changed audio devices. Yeah, it's just the HDMI line right off my cap card. Like, I'm not doing anything to the sound. I'm not going into the scorch area, am I? I'm just going up here. The enemies have all been at my level. Oh, golly. Ah. Stinking bugs. Yeah, typical Bethesda game full of bugs. I'm just kidding. Oh, I just want to ride my motorcycle. Remember vats? I don't like vats. That's some pretty serious popping over there. Holy moly. Oh, it's a house. What the? F There's a mutt. There's something big walking around, growling and stuff. Okay, there's a wild mongrel down there, but there's something in his house, bro. Woo! The frick? Why is this vicious mongrel got a funnel cake? Thank you. 
Let's try the ray gun. Out of ammo. Funnel cake and drugs? I mean, that dog was probably just trying to live his best life, you know? He's just trying to have a little... You know, a little wake and bake. A little, little funnel cake with his wake and bake. And I just blew him away. I'm already out of breath. Sorry, I ran 20 feet. This is a little too close to real life. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to get immersed in an RPG when my character is as physically limited as I am. <laughs> Wait. I'm not overburdened or anything, am I? Nope, not yet. Like, I would get tired running this distance. Like, up this little hillside, right? Right about here, I'd be like, that's it, I'm done. See? He's just like me. I wonder... I wonder if they studied... You know... Men of my age, and they're like, yeah... Typical dude in his 40s... About a 20 yard sprint, it'll wind him. You know? Why is the music. Am I about to get murdered? Is a tree gonna come alive or something? What's happening? Is that all you can muster, Sadoman? What's happening? The frick is gonna happen to me? It's both foreboding and victorious. Can't make up my mind. Hang on a minute. How do I get rid of the marker? Oh, for Pete's sakes. You gotta click somewhere else. I think you're lost. No, 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 no. I know exactly where I am. I'm heading right for that floating trying uh, diamond. I know my shapes. What the? It's a freaking vault! What is this guy's problem? You guys are hilarious. You're unwelcome here. Alright, what do we got? Team only interior. Private area that is unique to your character. Only you and your teammates can be in this interior. Friends and strangers can't join you. Make important story choices that have large consequences. Progress... I'm sorry, progress is saved less frequently when in solo interior. Be sure your quest has been checkpointed before leaving. I don't know what in the heck we're about to get into, boys, but... Welcome to the Shelter's Claim Center. Claim your shelter now and expand your home. Sorry, Zuby. I know you're having fun with him, but he just seemed like a genuine idiot. You know? What's this? Password? Oop. Terminal is Helen. What you got going on here, Mr. Man? Oh, a visitor. Oh, I thought this day would never come. I haven't had a visitor in ages. Welcome to the Appalachian Shelters Claim Center, visitor. I'm called Mr. Clark. It's my job to help eager new customers such as yourself 
take your first step into the miraculous world of shelters. Oh. Cursory analysis suggests you are likely here to... <coughs> Goodness. <laughs> Forgive my tone. I'm experiencing some memory issues. <clears throat> As I was saying, a bright-eyed visitor like yourself must be here to claim your free shelter today. Is that right? Yep, I'm here for the shelter. Splendid. Give me all your oh, money. Before I can distribute your shelter to you, you'll need okay. to register as a shelter owner. The terminal in the back will guide you through it. Once you've finished registering, return to me, and I'll distribute your free shelter to you. Okay. I'm so grateful to have a customer. I was beginning to think this day would never come. Where well, we gotta register. Password accepted. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Thank you for registering. Your registration is now confirmed. I did it. Mr. Clark, I did it. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter owner. Congratulations, visitor. Mm -hmm. A marvelous new world of home expansion awaits. Cool. I'll distribute your free shelter to you, along with some materials to build your shelter's entrance, as a personal thank you for being my customer. Before we part ways, visitor, is there anything else I can help you with? I'm good. I'm not really a talker in these games, you know? Wait, home expansion, speak to Mr. Clark. It looks like you've successfully registered as a shelter. I'll distribute you before we part. Then allow me to extend a warm shelter's claim. Thanks. I don't think he'll ever stop doing that. He's just burning the ground and then sweeping up the soot from his own fire. It's freaking futuristic Oedipus. No, not Oedipus. Sisyphus. Oedipus did something very different than that. Server not responding. Controls have been temporarily disabled. Disconnected from server. Well. That's... that's That was, that was fun. Well, now what do I click? I didn't click any of this last time. World found. Stand by. <sighs> All right. Let's see what happens now. Am I a Fallout first member? No. Okay. Now, we got to go all the way back down there. Is there any form of fast travel in this? Thank goodness. Oedipus had his own messes to clean up. <laughs> that he did. Oh, golly. Holy. Oh, that kind of looks like me a little bit. Hello. I hope you can't attack me. I'm not in the mood for that. All right. Now let's head to the thing we were supposed to do. I'm glad that we did that. I'm glad that we did that. That's cool. That's a cool element of the game that you can go, like, have your own shelter and... I don't know why my mic keeps doing that. It keeps going red, like the compressor's not working. Did I disable it by accident or something? Nope. talk to him, he will give you free guns. 
he's gonna give you stuff but I gotta walk all the way back up there I already walked all the way down here it's so far oh for frick's sake bunch of backseat gaming babies read the chat I'm playing a video game I don't read chat when I do that as much what happened to you oh it's a weak feral ghoul oh my gosh turn on pacifist in the settings look at look at how far I had to run we're on limited time Invite him to trade? Okay. I don't understand. This is just some guy. This isn't like some NPC. If it ain't the Bible, Lono ain't reading it. <laughs> I, I, this is, you guys are confused. Like this is a real player just standing here. Like, he turned his game on, and he's, like, off taking a dump or making coffee or something. He's not in the dadgum game. Or, I mean, he's not paying attention. He's only level 39. He ain't gonna be giving stuff away yet. My instinct was correct. I was like, it's just a regular person in the game. Like, he was just standing completely still. Come on, chat. We wasted two minutes. Yeah, look how much time we wasted running back there. <laughs> I told you it was a long way to run. <laughs> uh, fallout? You got? You guys got any Fallout in your Fallout game? Oh. Out of breath. My survival stats aren't over there anymore. Is there... Why did that... Why did those go away? I'm on the PS5. Doesn't help that Lono has the stamina of a 79-year-old. Dude. What the... Fr oh, my gosh. We'll take it. Where'd the other one go? You can't hide from me, sucker. I know where you live. Right here in the lumber yard. you killed a cow I did it I'm a warrior I don't know how you play this game Mike but I'm out here dominating I'm killing cows and giant bugs no one stands a chance oh what the are you shooting at me oh no Always great when the menu pops up. Is that? Oh, Freaking AI. Now always remember to pick up your guns and then throw them on the ground. 
because the guns have ammunition in them as well. Heavy leather right leg. So... Uh... Armor. Heavy little metal. Okay, my right leg is a five. Okay. I can't see it. It's okay. All right, we're almost there, chat. That one was fast. I'm halfway I'm halfway uh, to leveling up here. Put away the gun, you can look at your body. That's what she said. How do you do that? How do you put the gun away? I just keep swapping. Hold reload. There, you can see my leg. I, it looks like I'm wearing a cast. I don't know which was worse, his movement or my shooting. It was a pretty, pretty bad combination of both, I think. Water swept him away. We made it. I was like, I'm not about to get attacked when I go in here. Here lies Big Billy. Oh, oh. Lady, I will paint the walls with you if you don't tell me where Crane's treasure is right now. That's enough out of you. I told you it was going to end badly. Now, I'm hoping you're here to have a drink and play nice. I've had a gun pointed at me more than a day. Listen, I was just going to kill everybody in here and just rob you. I mean, especially Mr. Han Solo over here without a nose. I mean, I don't care. You just give me everything you got. You give me that hot pocket there on the plate, and then give me all your money. I don't understand what's going on here. Huh. Well, not exactly the introduction to the wayward I would have hoped for. Well, sorry about that, darling. First round's on me. Name's Duchess. Mm hmm There's something I could do for you. Where'd you pull that from? Is that, is that gasoline? Your guess is as good as mine, sweetheart. He busted in here saying I needed to turn over the location of some fellow named Crane. Who I guess I must have served at some point or another. Since then, a steady stream of miscreants has been making my life irritating. Not exactly good for a budding business. Mm-hmm. Now that you mention it, see? But I want him to be the last. Normally... Just get to the point where you give me the quest. Oh. Right? This isn't compelling storytelling time, all right? That's what I Great. Now. How would you grab Just point me at the baddies. Well, aren't just give me one 
I can't move. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in place. I just want you to know, architecture ain't exactly my forte. Huh, not half bad. So what I have chicken scratched together here for you is the schematic for one custom-made Crane Treasure Hunting Inc. sign. If I didn't butcher the plans too bad, it's got a little system built in that'll make sending out an advertisement and getting this gang's attention a snap. You just need to build it. Use the tape it spits out to tell the world you're open for business, and then convince any punks that show up to tell you where their boss is hiding. They did teach you all how to build from schematics up in that vault of yours, didn't they? Yep, sure did. I don't need you to teach me how to do that. That's the spirit. Hey, if you need a refresher, good old Morty Mort can help you out. Nobody what asked you. you. About Mordecai. Hey, no, nah, I'm not bragging or anything. But I've got some tapes that cover that very subject. Okay. Oh, Mort, not the tapes. Well, you find yourself wanting a refresher? Talk to Mort. Of course, you're gonna need materials, but we should have enough lying around to cover you there. Get you together a little care package. Throw some rations in there, too, so you don't starve on me. I'd talk to so Mort. You, know, you might have to break some of this scrap down for parts. Shut up! You ruined my Who joke! Knows? Shut up! Now. Shut up! Shut up! You ruined my joke. Everybody in this game acts like they're done talking, and then they're not. Weird pauses. I was gonna say I'd talk to Mort, but I'm already bored. But it's ruined, alright? You understand me? You ruined it. Frickin' Dumpster Dana Scully look-alike. It is a lot to ask. Fine. I could do 75. But that's as high as I'll go. That means you're up to the task? Hot dog. Be good to have those dolts off our back at long last. Just make sure, once you find out where they're hiding, that their leader gets the message. The wayward gets left alone. Oh. And on the topic of leaders, you know, one of my people found this tape in the camp across the way, recorded by one overseer of Vault 76. It's a little out of date at this point, but it seems it might have been left for someone from her vault. Maybe it was waiting for you? Sounds like she set the camp up so her people could get some practice in mm -hmm. self-reliance. Probably worth looking into if you think you could use a little refresher. Good lord. So, I know what everybody's gonna say. They're gonna be like, that's what Fallout is, right? Like the dialogue aspects. I wish I could check a box and just say, I don't care about that. You know what I mean? Like, the world, the aesthetic, the shooting, the constantly finding loot and, you know, getting cool weapons and crafting. I remember loving that in Fallout 4, but the, the drawn-out dialogue, like, it just isn't compelling anymore to stand and face some bum-looking NPC who's twitching and being like, I've got 18 lines of dialogue to say to you. So then what you do is you end up just clicking your way through it and it becomes like a trivial exercise. Like, I would love to just be like, no, I'm not interested in the dialogue part of your game. I just want to run around and do the questing and the shooting, right? Like, I'm a man of simple tastes. So I, don't, I, I get that people like that option. I know there's a skip button, but then it turns into like, I have to button mash my way through all of the dialogue. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I just don't think it's a compelling offer anymore to stand and, and deal with that level of dialogue. I think when it was at its inception, when that idea was born in the older games, it, it was like, okay, this is revolutionary. This is cool. Now, it's not. It ain't cool. It's like, leave me the frick alone, man. I'm just trying to play. And the, the, the dialogue system in the game I know is expansive. I know Starfield has it. It's expansive. And for people that love it, 
people that love that part, I'm sure they think it's great. But when you don't, it's like, I feel like, man, I just have to eat around this way too often. Like, it just feels like I'm constantly having to stop and and engage in something that just doesn't interest me. Then don't play RPGs. Well, I thought Fallout 76 was going to sort of be like, you've got Skyrim and then you have the Elder Scrolls online. So like they, they sort of dumb some of that stuff down. And I thought Fallout 76 was going to be a little bit more about like, okay, it's more streamlined. It's more of like an MMO. It's more of like an online world. You know, I just don't find that to be an enjoyable thing anymore to stand and have long drawn out conversations with characters and it's like I don't I'm not invested in the world at that level and it's difficult to be invested in the world at that level when the main offering doesn't isn't like some compelling story people complain there were no NPCs oh no I know I know I'm very much a non um hang on that's the wrong one I'm very much a non Bethesdian when it comes to this. I know I'm not the Bethesda guy. I know Bethesdians would say that what I'm saying is sacrilege, that that's part of the appeal, like that's part of the uh, allure. Um, and to me, I don't think that like ruins the experience. Like I still think you could have fun with this game. There's a lot to do, but. I think it looks like a PS4 game because it is, and that's fine. I think the sound design is atrocious, and I think the combat feels great. Like, I honestly feel like it's a fun romp to get in little shootouts, little gunfights. It just lacks a a modern feel for me to enjoy it. I, like, I've played now for an hour, and I'm like, yeah, I would never come back to this. You know, it doesn't feel like a modern game and that's because it basically isn't a modern game you know and i think that's okay i think people can still enjoy it i think people can still have a good time with it you know the main offering is the world and the lore why play the games if you don't care about the world and the stories makes no sense to me i think you're just getting defensive there's no reason to get defensive i think that that as a mechanic it's not as enjoyable anymore i think when it first dawned like like dawned on gaming that you could walk up to characters and talk to them and have these lengthy conversations there are people that like that i don't think it's that appealing i don't think it's that compelling i think it's it's so drawn out that it ends up working against what it's supposed to do we're going to do a show with 30 and so gaming um, you like story-based action games. Right, and if I could play this as if that's what it was, I don't mind going up to an NPC and they're like, oh man, there's ruffians down the road. Can you take care of them for me? I'm like, sure thing. And I'll go do it, and I'll come back. They're like, thanks. Name's Hank, by the way. You can come to me anytime and need anything. And I'm like, cool, sweet. And then I go on my merry way. I don't need like a, like, and this again, this is just my player preference. I don't need to talk to Hank for five minutes before doing that right so i'm simply saying i can't get into a game like that anymore i remember enjoying fallout 4 i remember not having an issue with the dialogue i've just gotten to the point where i'm like i don't think it adds to the game enough i think it detracts from the game because the dialogue is so high in quantity that you're not getting the, the the best level of voice acting and writing, right? And the faces are obviously needing to be automated because you're dealing with millions of potential interactions with these characters, right? Because you might pick different options than me. You might pick different, uh, you know, dialogue choices than me. So I just have always struggled to think that it's that compelling or that it really adds to the game that much because it just feels like overindulgent. It's like, do we really need every NPC encounter to be like that? And again, I'm just not a Bethesda. And I think long-standing Bethesda fans are like, oh my gosh, everything you're saying is sacrilege. The dialogue is such a huge part of it. And having all those interactions with the NPCs is just such a great way to experience an RPG. And I'm like, yeah, I need a little more action and a little less, you know, that. That's just how I'm wired now. It's just my preference, you know? And I get why somebody would be like, no, dude, that's my favorite part of the game. We're just different at that point, I think. I played Fallout 76 at launch. It was unplayable. It was impossible to play. It feels like it didn't change that much. Uh, Now, not because of bugs, but poor gameplay in an empty world. 
yeah, I mean, there's just a lot here that makes it hard to, to, to want to come back. The world does feel pretty empty. The sound's pretty flat, and, and like, it's just, I, I wonder why the sound's that bad. I'd have to go back to games from this time period and be like, was it just not great back then? Like, was audio just, just not, you know, has audio come that far? You know what I mean? Has audio come, you know, well beyond the, 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 what were, what we heard back then? Did we just not realize, you know? I'm not that I'm against dialogue in games. I generally love it. The main thing with 76 is it's just meh. I just don't care what the characters have to say. Right. Like if you're telling like a really cra- like really compelling story, like whenever I played through Ghost of Tsushima, I didn't mind listening to the dialogue because I thought the story and the characters were compelling. I feel like these worlds, the quantity of the characters and the quantity of the potential interactions it just doesn't have much potency at that point it's like there's just i don't i can't possibly get invested and care about this many characters in this many places and this many people it's like it's almost like it's there's it's too much for me to get invested when you play a game like horizon forbidden west like zuby's asking there's quite a bit of dialogue there's a lot of characters but you don't have to stand there and listen you like that's an option you can like ask them a bunch of questions if you want or you can completely avoid it so i my impression of fallout 76 from a distance is it wasn't going to have that level of bethesda in it and that was just a wrong impression that I had. I was incorrect in my thought. So if that's the kind of game it's going to be, it's like, here, go here and talk to this person. And it's super lengthy. And it's like, it turns into a button mashing exercise where I'm like, all right, I got I to gotta mash my way through this dialogue so I can get back to questing. That's just not something I want to do. And it doesn't help that the game has a lot of things about it that are incredibly unappealing. I, I find the, the world and the graphics and the sound to be really off-putting and I think that's just part of you know a game being you know older and more dated I think you know you don't it's just hard to eat around the the fat there I mean Ghost of Tsushima as an example was a PS4 game and even before the director's cut I think it just looked better you know it just was a better looking game it felt more modern it felt more advanced <clears throat> God of War came out the same time this game came out. Sound design was excellent. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, just bad sound design, I guess. I just, it doesn't, that's always a problem. Anytime I'm going to play a shooter, if the guns sound bad, it made it so hard to play Outriders, you know? If the guns sound bad, it's really hard to get into it. Because, like, you don't, you don't want to find your primary source of damage output to be, like, unappealing. When I shot that, like, listen to the one weapon... Listen to this weapon. Like, what is that? It's like I'm shooting into a pillow. You know what I mean? It also sounds like it's far away from me. It's just weird. Here, I'll turn the sound back up. Listen. Like, I, it just sounds bad. Like, I don't know. Like, I've always struggled to get into a game with guns when the guns sound bad. That was always a huge turnoff in Outriders. It was just muddy noise pollution. It was terrible. Very dull sounding. All the audio is bad quality. Yeah, your footsteps, you know, the world itself, you know, it's... I don't remember what Fallout 4 sounded like, so I can't tell you if this is like maybe a different team worked on it or something. I don't know. I'm setting up Redirect to do this show with Mike. And he's been playing Fallout 76 quite a bit, so we'll be able to get his, um... We'll be able to get his thoughts on this. Um, like what he's been doing, why he likes it, what's his, what's the content loop like? Check my last. Um, 
I'd push back and say that it's the PS4 that's still getting content and updates, so there's no reason for it to be this janky. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, it feels kind of janky. It, you know, it feels like it needs a little, a little, you know, modern day pass, but there's probably not a strong reason to do that. You know, most of the people playing are probably, you know, happy with the game. You know, they're not like going to stop or start playing depending on that kind of thing. Where is my 30 and still gaming? There it is. A different team did work on 76. All right, hang on a second. PC audio. There we go. Oh, my camera's not plugged in. Give me a second. Don't switch. All right. You there, Mike? Yep. Okay. Um, Let me go to the rundown. I'm just going to have to change the... Image. Because you are not Kirk. I am not. Where's the one I use for it? There it is. Yo, welcome back, old soul. 26 months. Have Friday. I should try out 76. I think people that aren't like me can probably enjoy it. I think so. I can't even believe you tried it. To be honest, because this is not your game. <laughs> Why well, everybody's like, hey, the, 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 the question I asked on Twitter was very split. It was like split right down the middle. Some people were like, oh, it's so great now. And other people were like, it is not a fun game. It was like, there wasn't really any in between. Hang on. I'm going to pull my... There we go. I'm going to pull my monitor and try and give you like an actual legitimate... Go on, chat. There we go. Oh, and then I'm going to turn off that. It like blind you okay. surprised you tried it as well yeah you know it, it's been updated a lot I saw the trailers and I was like yo man maybe maybe it's worth playing now and uh I think there are people who are probably going to dive in and have fun with it it's just not me mm mm-hmm. Sorry about last week. About uh, I, I totally f- forgot that I was a chaperone for my kids' field trip last week. And I was like, <laughs> like where'd you get? What was the field trip? Where'd you go? Uh, we went to Uno's Pizza. They made their own pizza, and then they went to uh, a place called Ripley's. Believe it or not. Oh, that's awesome. Those are. That's an age where you got to do that stuff. Like that's always the top priority. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That y- when they get older, everything's lame and they don't want to do anything. So it's like when they're young and everything's exciting, like you got to cash in. You know, they become teenagers and they'll sulk around and stare at their phone. You know, <laughs> that's if I give him a phone. No, he's, he's got an iPad. So. <laughs> no, Dad, I don't want to go. Why would I want to go to Ripley's? Why would I want to go make my own pizza? Okay. But we got a bunch of subs for me uh, streaming that gameplay, and hopefully nobody's that upset that I did not have a good time and I was critical of the game. I hope. Oh, man. They subbed and they went, oh, never mind. And they just unsubbed right after. <laughs> yeah, they're like, this this jackass, you know? He's playing 76? I'm going to sub to him. Oh, no. he's He doesn't like it. I'm, I'm unsubbing. And what's funny is I remember people complaining about the absence of NPCs when it first came out, and I was like, 
I'm that guy now. I'm like, you know, what do you need? You need me to do this? See you later. I'm going to go do the quest. Like, well, well, I don't want to burn the show. We'll talk about this in the show. Um, let me uh, send some tweets. I'll give you guys some links and stuff, and we'll switch. I'm going to have to run upstairs quickly, though, and use the restroom. Where are we? Mm-mm. Oh, that's the wrong thumbnail for Twitter. Yo, what is happening to your camera? My camera? Yeah. Let me do something. I think we had this problem before. I'm going to set region to east. There we go. I changed region to east instead of automatic. Whenever we're on automatic, I don't know. We're both eastern time zones, so I don't know. Yeah, so obviously it puts us, like, in the east, like, across the sea. (laughs) My daily driver, so to speak. It's fine with me if the game isn't for anybody else for whatever reason. Yeah, and I, like I said, people get defensive if you're critical of the game they like. And I felt like I was being fair. I don't think I was being like unkind about it. I was like, yeah, it's just it's not what I, you know what I was hoping for. So we'll we'll talk about it more in the show that we're getting ready to go to. I'll provide you guys with a link um, in a moment that we'll be heading over to. Okay, I'll be right back, chat, and then we'll get into it. You can talk with Mike. He can see the chat. Um, Hang on. Just let me get a browser open and over here on this side in case I need to do anything while we're live. All right, I'll be right back. Now, if I read a chat, that's a completely different story. Yeah, the people that play Fallout 76, you can see big numbers inside. Uh, they've been playing for hundreds and hundreds, and if not thousands uh, of hours. The game I was looking forward to the most, Derek, um, was, was Star Wars Outlaws. Um, but I'm still excited for the game, but I, I'm, I'm not excited about what Ubisoft... Uh, is doing with like the different uh, different packages and how they're putting stuff behind the forty dollar paywall on top of the seventy dollar game. Yeah, I watched the whole show. I watched the whole show. It was it two sittings? I watched it last Friday and Saturday. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing a little bit of uh, Fallout 76. I don't play a lot. I just go in, do my dailies. Uh, weekly is on, on Tuesdays. So I come in, do my dailies, uh, do a little bit more, and then log out. Uh, I'll probably play some Helldivers this weekend. I'll probably play some more uh, Minecraft with my son this weekend. And uh, there's another game he wanted to play. Oh, he wants to play some uh, Star Wars Battlefront. uh, Battlefront, the classic collection. No, I'm not that person. I won't give you spoilers for the Fallout show. Uh, I didn't even see. I saw people were talking about Deliverance, uh, Kingdom of. De- 
I downloaded the first one, never played it. And I know there's a, a trailer out for the second one. I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yet. I saw people talking about it on, online, though. You binge the whole thing? Yeah, I didn't want to do that. I have responsibilities in the morning. Right, Dolphin? I wish I wish I was a kid again where I had no worries and wasn't skewed by life and companies trying to screw us over. Ooh. Okay. No rest for the wicked. That's um, that's a like a souls type of game, right? But it's like yeah, top down, whatever. I don't think people are expecting it either. Like if you go read the reviews, people are people are not happy, and they're like, I think it's because they literally thought it was just going to be like an ARPG and not a Souls. I mean, it's tough. I loved it, but I knew it was going to be like a Souls game. All right. Oh, uh, you don't you don't want to hear my thoughts on the on the Transformers one trailer. Oh, I'm so disappointed. There's a new Transformers thing. Yeah, there's an animated movie coming out. It's called Transformers one. Um, and what I don't like about it, I, I like that it's animated. Don't get me wrong. I like that the humans are not in the show as well. It's just about the Transformers. Mm -hmm. But what I don't like about it is they. It's great for kids. Like your your son, daughter, my son, they'll love it. Right, but what I don't like about it is they've converted it into what it seems to be like that recipe of like Pixar. Uh, so it's Optimus Prime and Megatron when they were younger, before they were Megatron and Optimus Prime, and and and, and it's like, um, no, thank you. Oh golly, guys, there's a link in chat. That's where we're headed. Smash the like button here before we leave, and then do me a favor because we only need like 30 more likes here, and there's over 300 of you here. Thanks for a great turnout for gameplay. I know it didn't turn out to be my cup of tea. Not every game's going to be my cup of tea, and that's fine. So if you enjoyed this stream, hit like. It'll help it later find more people. My no rest for the wicked gameplay video is doing great right now. It's it's getting really good results. That's because of your support. So thank you. And then make sure when we get over to the new stream that you guys smash the like button as well. And you did hit the member goal. So if you're a member, we're going to do a fun stream tonight with Madam and you can come to that. So I'm going to start the new stream. We're going to get into this. I'm going to recenter mic just a touch. There we go. Thanks so much for checking out a weekly segment that I do. I sit down with my friend 30 and so gaming and we talk about something in the gaming world. Sometimes we recap a bunch of different stories, but this week... Fallout is kind of having a moment right now. There's a lot going on with the franchise. The TV show's doing great. I tried out Fallout 76 this morning. If you're kind of interested in Fallout 76, what's it like for a brand new player, check out my video. It might help you decide whether or not you should or shouldn't play. And this video might help you. Because I had a very different response than others are having. Mike's been playing quite a bit, so he'll tell you that. So thanks for being here, Mike. Appreciate you joining me again. Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. I'm going to end the previous gameplay stream and bring people over with the redirect. And as you guys come over, do me a big, huge favor. Smash that like button. And if you're